cottage in the woods. There lived a peasant and his wife. They didn't have much, but were very jolly. <laughs> and very often, people, like stories, get better as they get older. <laughs> uh oh, he's done it again. But look on the bright side. Now the sun can shine through all day. Hmm. But Johan, wouldn't it also be lovely to have the roof fixed on rainy days? That costs money. Which we don't have. Tell you what, I'll do it before the winter. Good idea, old man. Oh. <laughs> Anything to keep you happy, my dear. Oh. oh. Hello, neighbor. Hello, Lars. Oh. Oh, did he behave himself? Thanks for the loan of the horse, Johan. Are you sure you won't let me pay you? I won't hear of it. You keep your money, my friend. Well, I will be needing all I have at the fair. You're a good friend, Johan. Thank you. Whoa! I I'd better go. I'll catch up with you later, then. Yes, see you later at the fair. Oops! You could bring this horse with you. Change him for something more useful. But what? What could that something be? Well, you always know best, old man. Very good milk. Ah, come to think of it, a cow would be very useful to me. My wife would love to have milk. And she could make cheese too. If you like, we could swap. <laughs> hey, you mean exchange your horse for this cow? Well, why not? Hmm? <laughs> Well, 
If you're sure, let me show you what a great milker she is. Feelings, my old pal. You served us well. <laughs> Hello there, good fellow. What a fine horse you have there. One of our horses is lame and can hardly walk. Oh, that's too bad. Show me. Maybe there's a stone in his shoe. shoe. <laughs> what did he say? A bone? No, no, no. It's a stone. The horse is lame. I know it's lame. Listen, I had an idea. You've got a fine horse there. How about selling him? I'd pay you handsomely. Hey, hey, what? What? Who's going to ransom me? Sorry, sir. I've just made a great deal. I've exchanged my horse for something more useful. You have? Hmm. Too bad. What could be more useful than money? What? Did you call me, honey? <coughs> A cow! So, we have a deal then. To your good health. Oh, I've always wanted a horse. <laughs> Come on now, Daisy, G up. There's a good girl. Sheep. I wonder who owns it. Him. There on the gate. Oi! Everybody get back in line. Do you think he'd exchange his sheep for my cow? But why? A cow is worth more than a sheep. Don't you know that? <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me, sir. Can I have a word? Quick. I haven't got all day. Um, you see, I'd like to have that creature. <laughs> hmm, I'm not sure. My sheep has very fine fleece. Oh, Gerda would love that. Wool for the winter. And is an extremely rare breed. Oh, so she'd give good milk. Even better, it could sleep with us in the house. So, what are you offering? My cow? Huh? Uh. <laughs> really? Are you sure? Oh, yes. A sheep would be much more useful to me than a cow. My wife would have wool and milk. Mm. Oh, yes. Take the sheep, please. <laughs> Oh, I always wanted a fine cow like this. Thank you. Thank you. You can all come through for free. But first, make way for this man. Be my guest. <laughs> of good fortune. Won't Gerda be happy now? Maybe she'll even knit me some new socks. Hey! 
Johan, huh? you made it. But where is your horse? Oh, look, Lars. I made a great deal. Here. <laughs> Johan, are you sure you did the right thing? Hey, look at that. What a fantastic goose! Come on, Lars, let's go! Oh. oh, come on, hurry up! Oh, wouldn't that goose look well? Tied to a string and paddling in the water at our place. <laughs> Everybody, see the fine goose. Six more months till Christmas to fatten her up. That's Ronnie old goose. She's not worth more than this sheep of oats. Oh, <laughs> over here. I bid you this prize turnip. <laughs> That's a fair offer. <laughs> what an insult. <laughs> and what do you offer me? Something even more valuable. A pea? <laughs> I can swap you my sheep. <gasps> <laughs> A sheep? Really? No, you're teasing me and my goose. Look, how often has my old woman said, if only we had a goose? See, it has fine fleece. It'll make you a great coat in winter. Really? You mean it? Oh, I've always wanted a sheep. <laughs> Just think, all those woolly jumpers. Thank you. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> Mind her now. She's a little temperamental. Ooh. Ooh. A good goosey. Nice goosey. That there. Hey, my good fellow, we meet again. So, you made another exchange then. Last time I saw you, you had a cow. Now you have a goose. Isn't that wonderful? Now my old lady will be truly happy. A goose? For a horse? What's news? The doors? You've come down a bit in value, haven't you? But if you say so... Oh, yes. You see, it doesn't eat so much as a horse. And she can collect potato peelings for it. What? Uh, he has feelings for it? <gasps> now, we might think the old man had made a bad deal. But he was happy. And happier still, thinking how happy his wife would be. would be so pleased with the eggs. Please, Papa, I'd love a goose. Hmm. All right. Let's do it, then. Are you sure? Really? Oh, yes. She always wanted a hen. Won't Gerda be happy now? A whole sackful. <sighs> Mostly rotten. Uh, uh, uh. Why, that's a lot of apples. Oh, oh, oh. I'd love my old woman at home to see this. We never had so many apples on our tree. Only one rotten one last year. 
Are all of these yours? No, they're for someone else. Uh, you couldn't help me carry them, could you? Why, certainly. <laughs> <laughs> This is the best laying hen you've ever seen. Look. So, what do you think? All right then. Do we have a deal? You're just being funny now. That little hen for a whole pig. No! For the apples, of course. The apples? Are oh, you? Oh, uh, well, why didn't you say so? I mean, if you're sure. Won't Gerda's eyes just pop out when she sees all of these? She can make lots of apple tarts. <laughs> <laughs> Phew, I'm thirsty. Hey, Johan, let me buy you a drink. Lars, what luck. Well, you're a good neighbor. You did lend me your horse. Well, well. Did you make a good exchange today, my friend? Yes. Look! What have you got in that sack? Apples. Hundreds of them. Apples? Hundreds? What? what? Could it be? Let me get this straight. First you had a horse this morning, isn't that so? <laughs> Then you swapped it for a cow. No, no. He had a sheep when I saw him. A, a, a sheep? <laughs> no, no. He had a goose. You did, didn't you? I saw you at the auction. Yes, he did. Huh? But then he swapped this goose for my hen. <laughs> <laughs> and now you have a sack of rotten apples. What? In exchange for a horse. The doors? Well, well. Your old woman will give you a piece of her mind when you get home. No, no, she won't. My wife and I always agree. In fact, I bet I get a kiss. A kiss? <laughs> Silence, please, now, everyone. Let's take bets. Bets? <laughs> Did someone say bets? What a marvellous idea. Are you sure? They're my neighbours, and I've never seen them argue before. We'll bet you a sack full of gold. That's one hundred coins. I have only the sack of apples to gamble. Come with me and meet my old woman. You'll see what she'll say. All right, here's the bet. A sack of gold against a sack of apples? <laughs> and rotten ones at that. <laughs> <laughs> and so, the rich gentlemen were sure they would win the bet against this simple old man. a good bargain. Yes, I knew you would. And who are the visitors? It's a long story. Wait and see. Come in, please. I'll serve some soup. Johan, my dear, you had a long day. So, 
Did you get something useful instead of the horse? Oh, yes, I did. I exchanged the horse for a cow. Well, heaven be thanked for the milk. Now we shall have butter and cheese on the table. You're so thoughtful. But then I saw something even better. A sheep. Oh, that's better still. <laughs> Sheep's milk and cheese and wool and, and woolen jackets and socks. A cow couldn't give us those. How you think of everything, Johan? <gasps> but then there was a most fantastic creature for auction. A goose. Ha! She called you a moose. <laughs> we haven't won yet. You mean we'll have a goose to eat at Christmas? Oh, my darling man, that's wonderful. We can let her walk about with a string tied to her leg and she'll grow fatter still before Christmas. And then a most amazing thing happened. Wait for it. <laughs> This little hen winked at me, so I couldn't resist. Marvellous idea. The hen will lay eggs and we'll have chickens. Do you know, that's what I really, really wanted all along. I told you. He's my neighbour, he is. But now, for the best bit, I have a big surprise. <laughs> <laughs> Now, no peeking, all right? Oh. Oh. Now. Now. So many apples. Our poor tree gave only one last year. Mm. Ooh. Today, I went to borrow some herbs from Hilda next door. And I only had one rotten apple to give her in return. But now, I can give her ten apples. Or twenty. We have so many. I must positively kiss you for that old man. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. Always going downhill and always merry. What? Married? Of course they are. Incredible. <laughs> They're a most unusual pair. A horse for a sack of apples and rotten ones at that. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> well worth the gamble. <laughs> 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 oh. You see, <laughs> what my old man does always makes me happy. <laughs> well, don't you know her well, my friend? You two must really love each other. <laughs> So, the old man didn't get into trouble with his wife. Some things are more important than money. She loved him, and he loved her just the same.